Let's look at a great tech tool within Google called Google Voice Typing. Google Voice Typing is a tool available on all computers with Google Docs and Google Slides. Here's how you open it. You can start by going to your drive and opening up a Google Doc from there, or you can go right to Google Docs and open a, a new doc. Once you've opened up a doc, if you go to the top menu and scroll across, you'll see where it says Tools. If you click on Tools, and look down in the list, you'll see voice typing. You'll also see an abbreviation or a shortcut to go to your voice typing, Control Shift S. This will also bring you to directly to this application, or you can click on it. You'll find when you click on it, a gray rectangle will open on the left side of your screen. When it's gray, this tells you it is not recording. When you are ready to record, just click on the microphone. This will turn red and you can speak. Let's try it. This is a test, period. How is it working today? Question mark. Notice that I try to speak in a loud, clear voice. This might be a little bit different than how you speak when you're talking to someone, but this will set up the computer for the greatest amount of success in terms of figuring out what you're trying to say. Another thing you might want to notice is that I had to speak my punctuation. The computer is not going to insert punctuation wherever it thinks you need it. You're going to have to tell it to do so. Notice I had to say period after the sentence and put in a question mark after the sentence. This is a fairly accurate tool. However, please keep in mind that it is a computer. So if an occasional mistake is made, this is a great opportunity for you as the writer to go back and edit your work. One strategy you can employ is using a screen reader like Natural Reader over your text to go back and listen to your document to see if that's what you wanted to say. Then you can go back and make the corrections once you edit. Within your Google Voice Typing, you'll also notice that you can change the language. If you click on this little carrot in your box, you can see that there's a variety of languages one of which is Espanol, Spanish. You can go into, just as an idea, you can go into a, maybe you're doing a Google Doc in Spanish and you could choose this and then speak in that language and it would write in that language. Keep in mind, if you are choosing a different language and you want to go back to English or another language, make sure you're in the language you want to be in before starting your document. Let's look at that again. So we just need to press Tools, Voice Typing, and it comes up in gray. Click where you want to type in the screen and start speaking. Use a loud, clear voice and try to enunciate your syllables. Don't forget to speak punctuation. This is working great, exclamation point. Awesome. Let's talk about some ways that you could use Google Voice Typing. I mentioned it in a document like this. You could also use it in a presentation. If you go to Google Slides, you'll also notice in the tools, you can voice type to your speaker notes down here, which is a great tool. You can also open up a document in your drive. Let's say you had a graphic organizer for your writing. You could click on your graphic organizer. Notice this was created in a Google Doc. I could click in the field that I want to talk in, speak in. Um, this is a tables to text for a graphic organizer for the beginning, middle, and end of a story. This might be for, be for a summary or a retelling of a story. You can click on your box. You can activate your Google Voice Typing, and instead of typing into your graphic organizer, you can speak your response into your graphic organizer. This is a great brainstorming tool. This allows you to get down your ideas without needing to physically type. This is also a great strategy for students who might have difficulty navigating the, the keyboard. Like I said, this is a great brainstorming strategy because you can get things down.
Also, as I mentioned, this is a great um, drafting tool if you wanted to just put down all of your thoughts and then later go back and edit it. This could be a first draft tool. This could also be um, something that could cut down on keystrokes if you were typing into um, like a Google Doc that provided by your teacher, or as I mentioned before, maybe a graphic organizer, or maybe if you're in a Google presentation and you're adding notes. Since Google, since this tool is on all computers with Google, this would be such a great tool for you to try out. Why not try it out at home? Having a nice environment where there's little distraction and noise is a great place to try this tool. Okay, hope you love this new tool. Make sure to try it out. Have a great day.